Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terror Tech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. As you can see, I did redesign my bot in between the last video and this one. I know I said I was going to create a venture bot and go off and, and see if I can find some of those blocks. But in between that video and this one, I got attacked like 15 times. This is not a safe area at all. So I got to find a better one. And a lot of you guys wanted me to put my base in the back of my bot. So that's kind of what I've done here. Now, the problem that I've seen is, and this wasn't an issue on the earlier patches, is these conveyor belts do not really move these resources around where I want them to go. If I put them over here, uh, the conveyor belts will move them, but from what I've found, the tractor pads seem to have more pull, obviously, and so if there's any tractor pads on your bot, that's where they're going to go to first. And I didn't want all my resources sold over here, so that's what I went ahead and did, is moved my, my tractor pads on this side so that my resources would be refined first, and then they would be uh, made into stuff if they possibly could. And at the very end, uh, if they can't be made into anything, they would be sold over here at the delivery camp. It's not quite working as well as I would hope. Uh, eventually, I'll have to get rid of these tractor pads and just put conveyor belts down so it's all even and nothing has more pull than anything else and they're just simply go in the direction and the pattern that I want them to go in. Uh, but for now this is kind of the setup I have and then of course I have my delivery cannons over here. I have two of my payload studio terminals over here. I did go ahead and buy an extra cab just in case because a lot of you guys said that my original cab was very very dangerous uh, sitting over here in the front and once you put the cab down I know in earlier patches you could actually go into build mode and take the cab out and the bot wouldn't just destroy itself. In this one I tried doing that and the whole thing, I kid you not, just busted into little tiny pieces and I'm not quite sure I want to sit there for like an hour and a half trying to rebuild this thing because it probably would take me that long because uh, it's just so massive and so many blocks and of course I did that after I had already added my entire base to it and spent like 20-30 minutes trying to get that right so uh, this is what we got here. I did move my my sentry tower over here, I took the weapons off, and some of you guys may see tractor pads up here on the top. That's just uh, for security reasons. Sometimes they have mortars that fire over your base, or over your bot, I should say. You know, that it's a base and a bot at the same time, but this is very vulnerable, and I don't want any of this stuff on the inside to get destroyed, so it should have a ceiling to it, a roof that needs to be high enough that the resources can get above these pieces so they can be sold. Uh, so this is about the height that I would suggest. But uh, for now, this is kind of what we have to do until we can find some more blocks and I can cover it up. And I definitely need to do that as soon as possible. And I wish, I wish, I wish we had some batteries so that I could have my shield generator going, my repair bubbles going, uh, you know, full time. But unfortunately, we do not have those yet. So that's what we're going to go do on this episode is we're just going to run out there and see what we can find and hopefully make a little bit of money while we're at it. Uh, also, another thing I wanted to mention is some of you guys said that you could go into debt with your payload terminal studio uh, when you really need to buy some stuff. I tried that earlier. In fact, uh, let me do that before we run out there just, uh, just to show you guys. I can put this down, right click on it, go into blocks, and let's see if we can find something more than 590 bucks. In fact, uh, we do need a couple more blocks, so let's just purchase one of those. That gets us down to 290, and then it's in red. And if I click on it, I can click on it too. I'm blue in the face nothing happens here and then when I exit the payload studio you come back out here and you'll see only one of them is down there so I don't know if that was a thing on earlier patches but it's not on this one unfortunately uh, that does sound pretty cool to me I think uh, at some stage you know when they actually add like the storyline into it if they could integrate something like that the forgiveness policy or you know you've been with the company for so long that uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, you know let it go this time but what is wrong with this? Why isn't my... Hold on a second, guys. I don't know why my firing button is not firing. Fire all weapons. There we go. Insert, like, always. Why would it be anything different? Okay, that's all right. Huh. I don't know why it changed between this episode and last one. That's weird. Now, I... I've never had that issue before. Die. Oh, you're gonna blow up, punk. <laughs> yes. Give me some of your blocks. Dang it. Their explosions, I believe, on uh, this this playthrough, are so much stronger than they were on the previous one that so many times now their blocks are completely gone when I when I finally destroy them because their their cab 
is so much stronger when it explodes that it just doesn't leave anything behind. And I don't think that was the way it was meant to be. I don't think they want you to lose like 90% of you. Oh crap, he's coming up from behind me. And this thing turns like, holy crap, look at that guy. If I don't get some blocks off of him, I don't know what will. Come on, turn. Holy crap, no. No. Give me some stuff. Now, if you back up like this, what you'll notice, uh, besides the fact that he's destroying me. Oh, no. no. <laughs> We're about to lose all of our bot. Oh, my God. We just lost like half of our bot there. Dang it. I knew this was going to happen. The moment I put my base on something, they're going to come out and just completely annihilate me. I can't even move. stuck on a rock. Can I use that to my benefit? Maybe. Oh man, look at all my pieces. This is going to take so long to put back together. No. <laughs> I just spent like 30 minutes in between that video doing that too. Okay, come on. Turn, 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 turn. You know you can do it. You know you want to. Oh yes, you're mine. Am I hitting? Yes, I am hitting. Him. Okay, I'll sit over here and really save and just destroy what's left of my body. And then I'll go in and pick up the pieces because, man, I do not want to risk losing all my base. No, 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 don't hit the rock. Let's stay there on the rock. Turn a little bit. Oh, no, it hit the rock. Oh, man, I can't turn. No wheels on one side. Oh, crap. He knows just where to get me. There we go, there we go, squad kill him, kill him, you know you want to. Yes, 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 come on. Oh, oh, die already, you little, you little punk. Unbelievable, guys, look at that. That just completely and totally annihilated my bot. That is just, oh, it's heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. But it does give us the opportunity to rebuild, I guess, in a better way. If all these pieces do not disappear on us or we don't get attacked, you know why we're doing this. And one of the things somebody told me is while you're staying still, you have less of a chance of getting attacked. Uh, that didn't used to be the case. It didn't used to care one way or another whether you were staying still or not. But from what I've seen, it actually does seem to be the case now that the more you stay still or the longer uh, you're not moving, uh, the less the bots will come after you. Now they will spawn all around you and the moment you start moving uh, yeah you're gonna have your hands full so make sure you're absolutely ready for that but it does give you a chance to get ready for it unlike in the past updates where man it was it was pretty rough there for a while Man, so many of my pieces stay there don't disappear guys now I am fixing the front of my bot because as always the front is the piece or the the parts I should say that gets hit the most often so if you have a choice between fixing you know the back uh, the sides or something along the lines I would say fix the front first you know you're gonna regret it otherwise and it's usually gonna be a pretty big regret you know you're gonna you're most likely gonna lose a lot that's it really sucks so take my word for it guys take it from my uh, past experiences that I've had and you know just concentrate on the most important details first and definitely, definitely in a situation like this, pick up your most important pieces first because you can't guarantee that you will not get attacked. And when you do, you may have to run. And the worst feeling in the world is running when you know that there's really good pieces over there you don't want to lose. Uh, it happens. It happens. And it's just one of those things you have to live with. Uh, but it doesn't mean you have to like it. And you kind of want to learn from your experiences if you can. There's uh, sometimes not a lot you can do about it, of course. But... Uh, when you can, you know, then uh, then you realize that, hey, maybe next time I won't fool around with, uh, you know, the conveyor belts. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll work on actually getting my, my bot back together in a form or shape that I can actually defend myself. Because if I had done that first, then, you know, it wouldn't have been so bad. Now, I'm going to leave those venture blocks there for a minute because, well, for one, they're not nearly as strong as the GSO blocks. They do weigh less, which is always a good good thing to have. And probably building here is probably, uh, you know, not the best method because I am, like, uh, on a small hill and, you know, it's going to be hard to get out of here once I add a whole bunch of weight to my bot, which I am going to do here in a minute when I pick up all these blocks. So, uh, but I don't want to be up on the hill either. That, that definitely makes me a target. And you can see there's an enemy over there 
that's really not that far away, so I don't know. I don't I don't feel safe or comfortable yet moving up to uh, to the top of the hill. Uh, guess I probably could, but you know, it's just one of those things. Like I've learned my lesson not to be too bold in situations like this, especially considering the fact that, well, for one, my bot's in pieces, and two, I don't really have any weapons. You know, <laughs> so even if it attacked, even if I could, you know, somewhat have a chance at fighting it off, I don't think I could because I couldn't destroy it. I could ram it. Is pretty much all I could do at this moment, or run away and screaming like uh, like a little kid, you know, who's just uh, slammed his foot into a door or something. I mean, there's not a whole lot uh, my bot is capable of doing simply because I have no weapons to speak of. I do have, or I should say, I did have some uh, some drills I wanted to work out and try to try to mess around with, but I took those off because one, I think they add quite a bit of weight. To be honest, uh, I was feeling myself being drag down quite a bit with those ones. It could just be my imag imagination, but I don't think it was. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these wheels while we're at it. Stop rolling. Telling wheels to stop rolling like that's going to happen. Uh, let's pick these up as well. Now I will fix the inside of my bot at a later time when I know I'm perfectly safe. I do need to repair these, uh, these blocks as well because even though they survived, they survive just barely, and I'm sure most of them, if not all of them, are very, very damaged. So be careful with that. When you finally do get back, don't think, oh, okay, I put my bot back together. I'm safe. I'm ready to go. I can go out there and kick his butt because he's sitting over there taunting me right now. No, no, that's not the case, guys. Oh, whoa, what's going on there? Ooh, I got another another piece here that was on my bot, but uh, just barely, just barely there. Okay, we're going to, what is this? Dang it. All my base is completely destroyed. All that work trying to make sure that it was in the right area and everything was set up. No. Completely had different ideas for me. The game decided... Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, crap. There's a guy right over there. Look how close he is, guys. Uh, I can't go that direction. I just cannot go that direction. Let's see. Did all my pieces disappear? Oh, crap. I think they did. It. They need to fix that. They need to leave those things there for a longer period of time. I know it causes lag, and I know that's why they got rid of it, because they were talking about doing that for that for that uh, specific reason, but there has to be an in-between. There has to be a way around that, because, man, when something like this happens, you don't want to lose every single piece you just worked all that time to get, and you need time to pick it up. I mean, even if you did what I did, which is just run around and pick a whole bunch of stuff up as fast as possible, uh, with a bot this size, there's just not enough time. Just not yet. I didn't get any of his pieces. I lost all of mine. Or a lot of mine, I should say. A lot of wheels, too. That sucks. Uh, but I didn't get all of his. I didn't get any of his, I don't think. Let's see, how many base pieces did I lose? Um, not a whole lot, thankfully. I think that, that shield on the top pretty much covered him. How many weapons do I have? Oof. That's it? That's all the weapons I got. Oh, my God. And now there's a huge hole right here on the top. He really favored that left-hand side. I'm not quite sure why, but I need to fill it back in. Otherwise, I risk the same thing happening all over again. And great, it's nighttime, so I can't even heal my bot up because, uh, you know, the solar generator doesn't work at night. Oh, man, this is, this is going to suck. You know what they were after? They were after my cab. That's why he went after this one little area because I put my cab there. So I guess you could use that to your advantage. I guess you could put, like, your strongest pieces right there over your your cab and uh, protect it that way because it seems like that is what they aim uh, for. And you know what? I'm just going to move these for now. In fact, you know, because I do want to go back like that in that design, but for now I don't, I don't have much of a choice. I can't really afford to be picky, you know, on how I do things here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this, and I think what I can do here is just turn this going sideways if it would go down the right level that I want. It's another thing is trying to get it on the right level. Sometimes it depends on the angle that you're looking at it on uh, to see if you can do it. Let's do this. I'm going to move that venture block. It was somewhat destroyed already, and it's pretty weak as is. I don't really want that protecting anything. <laughs> I don't mind them on my bot because they weigh nothing for filler space or something or for an extra wheel. 
you know, slot or something, but uh, as far as actually doing something, that's not going to happen. And look how close that bot is over there. You don't know if we're going to survive till till daytime so I can heal up. I don't think we are, actually, guys. Uh, we're going to this wheel. Somebody has to need a wheel somewhere. Somebody. Where, where, where? Uh, yeah, I could put one over here on the back, I guess. Yeah, that one little spot. Let's see. I want to take that wheel over there. This is not what I wanted to be showing you guys in this video. I thought we were going to go up there and tear it up. Uh, and I guess technically we kind of did. We did tear our face up. But not in a good way. Not in the way that I want it. Let's see. Um, dang it. I wish there was some kind of timer where you could see like what time of the day it was or night in this situation. But I don't see... You know, if there was a moon out, you could kind of watch the moon go across the sky like you would the sun and be like, oh, kind of like a Minecraft, you'd be like, oh, okay, I know what time it is based on the position, but no, I don't I don't see anything like that. I probably, you know what I should have done, guys? I should have went out and just harvest harvested a whole bunch of stuff, and I think I'm going to do that in between this video and the next and rebuild my bot back to its former glory, or even bigger, because, wow, this is, this is tough. This is a tough tough patch. I don't know if they're going to keep it this way because to be honest guys uh, unless you're somewhat familiar with the game, this is a hard way to be introduced into it. I think a lot of new players and I actually just got my brother interested in, into this game and he's only 8 and he was watching some of my videos which is, you know, amazing that my family is actually watching my video but, uh, you know, he was playing the game and he just kept dying over and over and over and over again. And he loved the game but at some point, he was just like, wow, you know, it's like, yeah, I've already done that. He can't get any further in the game. And I was like, man, some of the previous patches were so easy. I think they've kind of overcompensated. And so he stopped playing because of that reason. And, you know, I mean, me, I'll keep going because I enjoy the game and I've actually gotten the hang of it. Uh, finally, the sun is coming out. Coming out tomorrow. There we go. Let's put this down and heal this side of the base at least once the sun comes out. Uh, but yeah, he gave up because it was just too difficult and you know He may come back to it as they do further and further patches I hope he does uh, because he greatly enjoyed it and I don't think he got to exper experience as much of the game as He probably could have but like I said, it's just personal preference I think uh, you know a challenge is always enjoyable for me I highly enjoyed the you know the difficulty that they kind of bring into it but at the same aspect it's like who are you trying to target uh, if you're trying to target kids who are used to like an easier time because uh, he's like from the Nintendo generation as far as like the Nintendo games that are out now and I'm not saying those are really really easy but they are easier than most games that you'll find on say like the Xbox or PlayStation uh, there's a few on the Wii that I've seen that are really, really complicated and probably would give me a difficult time playing. So, you know, there's no, uh, you know, absolute to that rule. But, you know, like Mario and stuff like that, platformer games, I suck at. But as I've seen, they're not incredibly difficult for the people who play them. Uh, they seem pretty easy uh, for the most part and enjoyable because that's what you want. Man, look how many pieces of my bot were just completely wrecked. This is... I'm glad they repair so quickly now. It used to be that your uh, your repair bubble only had so much energy in it, and it would repair like, uh, you know, I don't know how much damage, say like a thousand damage, and depending on how many blocks you had that were damaged, you could go through like a, a thousand damage in, you know, a matter of seconds, and then you'd have to sit there and wait for the, the uh, repair bubble to create enough power again to repair a few more pieces that were already within the general vicinity. This thing, you can just go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, and it repairs everything there, so that's kind of a cool little feature that they've added. It did, of course, like I said, make the game easier because of that, but I think in a good way, because the downtime that you have to take to repair your bot, it, you know, it not only can it pose, like, just certain doom for you if, uh, you know, you're sitting there for too long, but at the same time, it's not exactly the most enjoyable thing to do. It's not the thing that you're playing the game for. So I think, you know, limiting you know, how long that takes is probably a good thing. I mean, I, I don't see it as a negative thing anyways. So we are going to come over here and, man, we're going to go harvest. We're, we're going to get away from that guy, as far, far away from that guy as possible. In fact, we're going to avoid combat altogether for the next probably two episodes. Uh, maybe not, because these are going to be about 30 minutes long. As I asked uh, in my earlier videos, what did you 
guys prefer shorter or longer episodes. You guys almost uh, completely unanimously, uh, you know, chose at least around 30 minutes, maybe even longer. So that's what you guys are going to get from now on. Uh, oh man, these things are right underneath my bot. Holy crap, there we go. Wow, it's selling for- No! Don't tip us over! I thought they fixed this. This this is something they need to fix right away. This is, you know, and I understand as you get a bot that's bigger with, uh, you know, taller wheels like the, the Geo 4 ones, this becomes less and less of an issue. But eventually, even with those, when you get to the point where you have, uh, you know, just a huge bot, and you go over here and literally wreck like an entire force. Like the stuff you're seeing me do right here, imagine having a bot, you know, 15 times the size of this. And I have videos where I have my massive base bot all in GeoCore, and it is literally like 15 times the size of this thing right here. And I'll come through an area, and I'm not even joking, like a forest area. My bot's like half the size of the forest area itself. And when I fire my weapon, it annihilates everything in its path in like a, a millisecond. And then I'll roll over it and pick up, you know, like 150, 250 resources uh, that are all there on the floor, maybe even more than that. And it will, it will flip that bot over that's so heavy, I don't think anything can lift in real life. And here we go. Yeah, see, it's just dancing around. Ugh kind of rough when you do this. Now, if you want to get out of that, you can always go into build mode. They seem to have fixed that. Look at that, my thing rising up and down. It only rises like that when you put stuff underneath it, so it's still being pulled up for some reason. There we go. It's fixed itself a little bit. Nice. No, it did not. It did not fix itself. Wow, what is stuck? Is there something in here? Oh, there is. Look at that. There is a small space right there in the front of my bot. Let me move that. That we are going to have to fix. No, there isn't a space. It just got underneath the wheel somehow. No, we can't allow that. What? How do we fix that? You know, I guess, you know, it goes in where the wheels are because it's seen as like an empty space. Uh, but the blocks itself, it doesn't go in. It just pushes up. So, huh, I don't know if they can fix that or what. But that's definitely something that we keep an eye on. The fact that the wheels are seen as like Now, some of you guys said that if I had finished the tutorial a little quicker, I would have gotten less uh, enemies on the map. Uh, you know what, guys? You might be right on that one, but I doubt it. Uh, because I finished the tutorial, and there hasn't been less enemies on the map. If anything, there's been uh, more of them. Because, I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's fun, and it's, it's, it's very, very cool. But, holy crap, it's hard. It is a lot harder. I wish, you know, if they want to find the right balance for the right players, simply put in a, an easy, medium, hard like most games have. I, I know very few games that don't already have that setup. It's very, you know, well tested, well, uh, you know, not, you know, founded uh, method of figuring out how people can enjoy your game without changing it so that every single person is exactly experience. Trying to do that is very, very difficult. And most of the time, you don't ever see There's so many people out there, so many different types of games, and they all enjoy something different. And there's even the really, really hardcore ones who love hunting for everything they do. And uh, that's, that's nowhere near as easy as one. Like, well, my brother, not my brother, my, my, uh, my brother's kids, I should say, uh, was eight. I think I even called him my brother earlier. Yeah, he's not my brother. He's like my, my nephew. Sorry about that, guys. But um, uh, it's he wanted something easier, and I think uh, it could have been very easily given just by having that. Now, I am just harvesting on this, this episode. I'm going to finish picking up all these resources. Oh, we're going flying. We don't have our plane yet, but we are going to fly. Oh, no. No. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, this is perfect. This is oh, are we going higher? Holy crap, guys! How high should I should I should I wait? Am I gonna bust? I'm gonna bust when I hit the ground. I know it. No, build mode. Oh, whew. oh my God! If we hit the ground like that, I bet you more than anything we would have busted into a million pieces. And the only reason we stopped going up is because I didn't want to start the game again. I actually clicked the button and it stopped us. Otherwise. I think we'd still be going up into the sky. That I have never seen before, and frankly, 
I don't really ever want to see again because <laughs> that's a lot of work to lose just because uh, it glitched out like that and it did glitch out. There's there's no other way to put that. It's not supposed to do that. Oh man, it's hard to pick up these resources with these little tiny tractor pads. I know when you get the GeoCore ones, this stuff gets just sucked up so easily and you don't have to literally run over it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we've run over like twice and it didn't quite get picked up. And that's because the, the amount of suction that these tractor pads have is very, very little compared to the later ones. And that's cool. I like that. I like the fact that when you first start off, things are rather difficult on you. But then as you progress, it's kind of almost like the RPG, you know, role model is that you start off really sucky and you feel really uber by the times everything's done because you've worked for it. And that's the same thing this is. You have to work for these these pieces. And when you finally get them, uh, you feel you feel it. You actually see a noticeable difference in how you can play. And, you know, it's a false sense because you, you're like, oh, yeah, I feel uber. But then when you go back to playing it again, beginning, like I've done so many times, uh, you know, you're like, oh, I'm going to play like again. And that's the difference between playing my base bot and playing this one is that I just, my base bot, I wreck everything. And with this one, everything wrecks me. So, yeah, don't, don't feel too over dead because if you do the patches and then you have to start over, and I don't know if that's always going to be the case. I've heard rumors that they will at some point allow you to use those old patches uh, or the old save games uh, and somehow, like, update the save game. And I think that should already be the case. Pretty much every game that I've ever played will allow you to use old save games that you played on previous updates and then just, uh, you know, somehow updated into the new system. But they're making so many fundamental changes in how this game works as far as, like, uh, it used to be that weight was not even a factor. You didn't have weight in this game. So you could make your bot go straight up on one wheel, you know, as high in the sky as you can. Is that a little cactus right there on the ground? It's kind of hard to see it. I think it is a little cactus. I can't pick it up or anything. Or I can destroy it. Then maybe I can pick it up. Wouldn't be surprised if that was like a little Easter egg that most people just kind of miss. Let's see. No, don't look. No, my weapon go right through it. Okay, well, it was kind of cool. I like the way it looked at least. And it does kind of change up the landscape. Is You know, just you kind of see the same thing over and over again. And I know it's supposed to be randomized, and it is. Uh, you know, the landscape changes a little bit, but at a certain point, when you've gone off and you've explored the desert and you explore the mountains and you explore grassland after grassland after grassland, like we have on many patches, you'll begin to notice uh, or, or just be able to look at them and be like, I can't really tell if we're in the same grassland that we started in or if this is a completely new one because yeah, they pretty much look the same. So by throwing little details in there, even if they're just little texture graphics on the ground or it's like something exploded or, you know, there's the dirt is, you know, uh, yeah, dirt. You know, if you want to grab it, mix some sand into it or something. Something just to give it a little bit of difference, a little bit of texture. And I'm actually playing a game right now called Underrail. They've done a really good job with that. They pretty much reuse the same graphic for the hallways over and over and over again. But they add little features like graffiti here and there. Uh, you, know, dirt, little, you know, piles of rubble and stuff like that. And before long, it begins to take on a shape and life of its own that is unique in its own right. Uh, oh crap, this is happening again, isn't it? Uh, we are doing a little dance, guys. Dun 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 <laughs> That's what we need is some music, right? What is this? Is this the uh, the Macarena version for our battle bot here or what? This is, we pop on a wheelie in the middle of, oh, we're stuck, look at that. I don't see anything underneath us, do you? Oh yeah, I do. A few pieces and they're being sucked in little by little. They they have to get a handle on this situation because this is new. <laughs> Let's go into build mode and see. There it goes. Some of them are popping out. You can see that they do. They push and then they pull. So that didn't used to be the case. It used to just be pull. They would pull towards your bot, towards uh, the pieces. Now they actually push away and then pull back. That way if they're stuck, they have a chance to loosen themselves. Although it does make for interesting uh, dance moves. <laughs> if you've got a whole bunch of wheels down there, that could be, uh, could have a dance off. If we have, if they, oh, they need to get their, they need to do multiplayer already because I cannot wait to group with you guys. We could have a dance off and see who could build the best bot 
uh, that could, uh, you know, do some, some stupid, silly, you know, moves because of the way it's designed. And I think, I think you guys could probably design some pretty stuff. That would just be hilarious to see. We'll put some music on or something like that to give it some flavor. But uh, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I will end between this episode and the next. Go ahead and uh, buy some new pieces. We do have 7,600 kills for to uh, spend on our pieces. And I think uh, we might have a little bit more because I think these pieces are somewhat rare. No, we're about to fly again. Fly. You can do it. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, guys. Well, I want to thank you all for your support and uh, for your likes and uh, subscribes. It definitely helps grow my channel, and I do greatly appreciate all that. I do apologize if this one is a little bit late. I don't think it will be, but I'm doing it the day of, so hopefully uh, we shall be fine. Now, I'm going to try to get a whole bunch more done tonight if I can. I am going away on the weekend. It's my sister's birthday, so we're holding, uh, you know, you know, barbecue and stuff like that. So I will be gone this weekend. So if I don't get back to your comments right away, I do apologize. I will get back to them on Monday. And again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.